Hey everyone, so I told you all that I'd be doing a few tutorials with this hair that I have in my head from her hair company. So this tutorial that I'm doing today is going to um, show how I get a particular type of curl with a curling wand that I use from Hot Tools. So of course I'll put all the information about this hair company below and everything that I used in the video. So I like to start off with freshly co-washed hair or washed hair because I feel like after when you're styling hair in its most natural state it has the most body sheen and it just turns out better um, and then I take my hair into sections that way my hair will be neat and clean and I don't miss anything and then of course I begin curling with the urn now because this urn gets skinny at the bottom and it's bigger at the top it creates a unique curl but it's also harder to curl because the hair likes to slide down the end of the curling wand. Um, you'll see it happen a few times in this video. And if that happens, the only thing that I do is just redo the entire curl or I just go over the bottom. But the type of curls that it creates are so beautiful. Um, they look like wand curls but also slightly different just because I believe that's the way that the curling wand is constructed. So for me, when I'm curling my hair with these, with any type of curling wand or curling iron at all, I do not like my hair to be uniform. I feel like it looks much more beautiful um, when the curls are not uniform. So in some some pieces of hair I you know get bigger pieces of hair than others some pieces of hair I leave on the curling wand longer than I leave um, others on and that's just only because I don't want all my curls to look exactly the same um, just because I think it creates a more natural look but of course that's personal preference you can count how long you want to leave the hair on the curling iron or not but the longer you leave it on the curling iron the more uniform the curls will be um, the less you leave it on there, the, the more like it'll be similar to waves instead of a curling iron. So it's all about what you decide and how you want your hair to look. But for me, this is what I like. So this is what I chose. And so I'm not going to talk this entire video because watching it is pretty, pretty self-explanatory to me. Um, but of course, if you have any questions or comments, then just leave them below. The heat setting that I used is, um, I think it was like 350. I think the curling wand goes up to 450 or something like that. Um, and I don't leave the hair on there for very long at all just because I don't want the hair to get burned or damaged. Okay? And so, you know, after curling a lot, you can see the curls are just turning out beautifully and I absolutely love it and so just moving right along here you just keep doing the same thing until you get closer to the top and then as you're curling just make sure that you decide which way you want your curls to be because although I like my curls to look different they should all go in the same direction so make sure you hold the curling iron in the same position every time I like my curls going away from my face which is why you see me curling the hair like so in the video And finished finally with the first side and they just look so gorgeous the reason I said lay like Tiana Taylor is because um, she wears her hair curly or similar to this type of curls a lot um, and that's what the curls reminded me of so now it's time to do the other side um, and like I said I'm gonna talk less during this part of the video because I feel like much of it's already been explained.
And there you have it. So, of course, in the end, um, I would flat iron my edges that I left out and add a little edge control um, so that it is on and popping. But I just love, love, love the way these curls turned out. They're beautiful, they're fluffy, they have body, and this hair is just absolutely everything because I've used this curling iron before on other hair companies and I can tell you it does not turn out the same every time. Um, so like I said, of course I'll leave the information about this hair company below. If you have any questions that I did not answer in the video, please feel free to leave them below. Um, and thanks so much for watching.